press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello all, how are you? I hope that all are doing good. Today I am here with you with a new lesson. This is the last lesson of your syllabus. This is the name of the lesson is the proposal written by Anton Chekhov. Uh, let's see about the writer's introduction. Anton Chekhov, he was a Russian playwright and short story writer born on 29th January 1860. Okay, and uh, Let's see about the famous works of Anton Chekhov. That is, uh, here the works are there. That is uh, Ivanov, the bear, or uh, the three, uh, the three sisters, and also the lady with the dog. Okay, so this is about the writer introduction. Uh, let's come to the title of this lesson: the proposal. You know, the word proposal. It here it comes a different meaning in uh, English dictionary okay so here are the some of the thing which is um, the action which is going to take and in the form of um, scheme of uh, for doing something okay and then about a marriage proposal okay someone is uh, proposing that they are going to they are um, they wanted to marry with someone okay that is called proposal okay so here are the some of the meanings are given in your textbook that is here what is the word um, the proposal means okay so here there are a suggestion either you can use it as a suggestion a plan or a scheme for doing something so that is called proposal and an offer for a possible plan or a action it's a possible the action is going to be happen in the future it's a possible it's a probability okay so that is the this is the another meaning and the another one it is here we can take that is the act of asking someone's hand in marriage it means they are proposing about so they wanted to marry with her or him okay so this is the proposal and here let's see what is this story is okay is here there are the three meanings i had given you so this uh, lesson is about what kind of a meaning here okay it's telling about the marriage or it tells about the something the plan of a future then there is something is there what is uh, what are the other things are there in this lesson let's see in this lesson before i'm going to lesson here there are some of the introduction and there are some background of this story okay let's see here let's come to the the theme of the uh, lesson that is the proposal originally titled a marriage proposal okay so the original name of this uh, uh, this play actually this is in the form of play the name of this play is the marriage uh, sorry a marriage proposal okay so it is not originally it's called as a a marriage proposal okay so it's called marriage proposal so it's called as then is a one act play of farce by the russian short story writer a dramatist dramatist anton chekhov it was written in 1888 to 89 okay so it is uh, belongs to russia okay this play is belongs to russia so here the writer is also belongs to russian country okay here was a, a short story writer and a dramatist that is the anton chekhov and uh, in between the year that is 1888 to 89 so he, in between that it, the play has written okay and let's see here the farce the what is the meaning of farce that means here uh, it's a kind of a humor okay humor it's kind of a fun okay uh, like that one it gives the love to the audience okay the funny things are there in this uh, play the play is about so this lesson is it is in the form of play so i am going to tell you about what this play is okay it contains what so what are the topics are there in this play the play is about the tendency of a wealthy families to seek ties with other wealthy families to increase their estates by encouraging marriages that make good economic sense okay so this play is about the two families which they belongs to wealthy they are wealthy belonging families okay so here they are seeking for seeking for they are searching for the marriage okay marriage proposals which they are also wealthy here it's about a two families actually they are both the families they are seeking for the the family which they are wealthy why they want wealthy families because they wanted to increase their wealth okay so for that 
uh, sake for that intention so they are seeking that wealthy families to get married in that particular family okay to increase their properties to increase their wealth so this is good economic sense Ivan Lumov, a long-time wealthy neighbor, Stepan Chukov, Chukov, Chubukov, also wealthy, comes to the seek of hand of Chubukov's 25-year-old daughter. Okay, here the characters are here. That is Ivan, Ivan, Eva, Lumov. So, who are, which are the characters are there in this lesson? So, I will write it here. Here the characters are. So, the characters are. Lumov, Ivano, Ivana, sorry, Ivan Lumov. Okay, Ivan Lumov, then Stepan Chubuka, Stepan Chubuka. So the names are a little strange here because it belongs to Russia, Russian play. Okay, it is one of the Russian play. So Stepan Chubukov um, and uh, the another character is Natalia. Natalia. Okay. So here, who is the Ivan Lumov? Ivan Lumov, he is a neighbor of this Stepan Chubukov. Okay. So Stepan Chubukov and the Stepan Chubukov, he is also a wealthy person. He had a he has a daughter that is uh, that is Natalia. He has a daughter here. Her, her age is 25 year old girl, okay, that is Natalia. 25 year old daughter, Natalia, all three are quarrelsome people. So, here the interesting character about these uh, people, that is always they are quarreling, always they are in a fight, okay. So, all the three characters, here there are the, the these are the three major characters are present in this play, okay. And... Uh, and they are quarrel over petty issues. Petty issues, it's a simple issues, uh, sorry, small issues. So that is called petty issues. So they are quarreling. They all three are fighting for a small issues, okay. Then uh, the proposal is in danger of being forgotten amidst all this quarreling, okay. In between this quarreling, the proposal has forgotten among this quarrel. Amidst means among. Among this quarrelling, among these people, they are quarrelling all the time. Uh, because of that, they have forgotten about the proposal of marriage. Okay, that is the marriage proposal. But economic good sense ensures that the proposal is made after all. Uh, although the quarrelling perhaps continues. Because of their economic background, that quarrelling, it becomes, uh, it becomes the, uh, the proposal becomes continuous. Okay, here says, uh, because of the economical background, the problem. Uh, the proposal is uh, is offered okay the person is offered for the marriage but still the quarreling is continuing okay after they this person that is even a Lumov, Ivan Lumov uh, he came to the uh, Chubukov house for a marriage proposal after that also the quarreling begin it is continuing okay so this is now you are understood about the the background of the play so let's see about here there are some uh, information about the russian kind of marriages so you know our indian kind of marriage how we are uh, celebrating in our india so you know the marriages uh, in our uh, country it's a uh, eternal one okay the people they will uh, they would remember for a long long time and then never been forgotten that is it so it takes a period of one week because of the functions because of the rituals and all they take a one week in our Indian culture but let's see about what is the culture uh, about uh, what is the culture of Russian marriages okay let's see here. how they are how they are uh, how their marriages are okay organized and how the people are enjoying and how they are celebrating that marriages okay let's see here a Russian wedding do you know anything about Russian marriage ceremony read this article about a Russian wedding okay so through this you are understanding properly about or deeply about how the marriages are organized in Russia okay 
Preparation for a marriage, a Russian wedding. Russian wedding is very simple. Okay, so Russian wedding, wedding is very simple. It is not like um, complex. Like uh, they are spending more and more uh, money, and they are it's a well attracted one. Okay, they are impressing the guests. It's not kind of a that one. Let's see here. Yeah? It is very simple. The planning only includes arranging for rings, brides, dress, cars, and also a reception. So the arrangements of the marriages. Only thing they needs are uh, they needs uh, are that is the ring, then dresses, then bride dress, then car and reception. Okay. Earlier the bride's family paid for the reception. Means in the during the olden days, so for a reception means for an occasion for a reception or a ceremony, the bride's family they are paying for that organizing the reception. But nowadays, brides and grooms' families usually share expenses. Okay, the expenses, how much they are spending on the reception, the two families, that is the groom family and brides family, they both are sharing here. Okay, so you know who is called bride and who is called groom. Once again, I am just uh, explaining these are. Uh, bride means it's a girl. Okay, the girl who is being uh, get marrying. Okay, that is called as a. Uh, bride and groom means it's about a boy. So that boy, that boy is going to marry for a marriage. So uh, he is going to be married for a girl that is called as a groom. Okay. So now it is clear about who is the bride and who is the groom here. Okay. Let's see here. So here a Russian wedding lasts for two days. So this they just um, uh, celebrate or uh, marriages for only two days. Okay. So it is for two days only. They have organized everything for a marriage. Some weddings last as long as a week, but in Russia also some of the marriages they were continuous for a week. Okay, and the occasion becomes something to remember for years. So why they were taking a one week because they have to remember for a year. So that's why they are organizing according to their uh, economical background and according to their culture. So they it takes a one week also, not only two days. They are also organizing for a one week. Okay, and the necessary. Part of the wedding ceremony is a wedding procession of several cars. The important part of the uh, wedding ceremony it is the uh, the procession. Procession, you know, in our uh, country. So when the groom is uh, ready for a marriage on that particular day, so how the relatives, the friends, they were going with the the groom is going um, on a horse, okay, and then uh, all the people they were dancing. There will be a drum sets, okay. So it is very festival kind of uh, marriages and the pro procession also okay so they are also have the procession then it is one of the important part of the wedding ceremony the best friends of the groom uh, bride meet before the wedding a few times make posters write speeches and organize contests so before wedding before marriage so the two uh, friends that is uh, bride friends and groom's friends so they were planning earlier okay so a week before they were planning for it so like they are arranging uh, their um, their uh, what called strategies they are planning for it like what it is so they make posters okay they are making posters that is the pictures of a bride and grooms okay so like it and then write the speeches they write the speeches about the groom and uh, about uh, bride and then organize contest okay they are they were, they are playing something there they are they are organize some games okay through the contests so the, it is the earlier planning okay so who are organizing these uh, things are uh, by the bride uh, friends and grooms friends okay when the groom arrives to fetch the bride for the registration, he has to fight to get her. Russians usually live in apartments in tall buildings. Okay, so here it says that when the groom is is arrived to fetch the bride, when he is came for the wedding day, so before he is going to be married with the bride, so he has to play with something. Means he has to find the bride. Okay, who has to find find the bride before registration of the marriage and you know that the russians uh, buildings they are living in an apartment there are a uh, huge buildings so then again and the groom has to climb several stairs to reach his bride so the bride uh, the groom has to climb for a uh, several steps climbing it's not for going through the steps okay he should have to climb okay on the wall to to go to the to his bride 
okay this is the one of a part of the wedding ceremony okay then but at each landing he must answer a question to be allowed to go up so in one step so one step after another step there the friends are organizing some questions so he has to reply he has to answer for those questions then they will be going uh, towards the bride the bride's friends ask difficult questions you know the bride's friend they are very um, uh, they are very funny kind of uh, girls and all so they ask uh, the difficult questions okay not only simple questions about the bride and about some uh, something else and then uh, the bride's friends ask difficult questions sometimes about the bride sometimes just difficult riddles then and the groom must answer with the help of his friends for example he may be shown a few photos of a baby girls and he must say which one his bride is okay so how they are playing so they are playing if suppose if they show the any picture of the bride so it may be the baby girl when she was a uh, baby when the bride when she was a uh, very young so that pics they are showing that groom has to identify so which is his bride okay so this is he has to identify it if he guesses wrong he must pay cash to move ahead if he guess it that that girl is wrong that his bride is uh, he, if he guess it wrong so he has to pay he must pay the money to the bride's friends okay after the marriage registration uh the newly married couple leads the guests for a tour of the city sites so after the marriage registration you know the, it's a kind of a christian marriage so they are registering in the churches and in also in the court uh, sorry in the offices marriage registered offices okay so after the registration so all the guests so who are present in the wedding ceremony so they were uh, they are just to visiting to see the sites of the city then after two or three hours of the city tour the couple arrives at the reception okay after three and three or four hours so the couple arrives for a reception reception ceremony the couple sits at a specially arranged table with their family friends and invited guests so the where the couples are sitting it's a specially decorated chairs and also um, everything what it is kind of a special thing so there they are sitting with the friends and also some of the guests and the family the reception starts with the toast to the couple a wedding toast is a custom where a close friend or relative of the groom or the bride says few words to wish the couple then everyone raises their uh, raises their uh, glass of wine and drink it up at the same moment okay the couple uh, the reception starts with the tossing and then toss means uh, they wish for newly married life they were tossing it so you know the bottle they can open up the wine okay so they are wishing for the newly married couple they have to live uh, uh, happily together so like that they were wishing so they were tossing it and then they were drink the wine okay so drink the wine the groom is then asked to kiss the bride and then it is also kind of a ritual in the russian wedding after a few tossing toasts people start eating and drinking and generally have fun so after tossing so people started drinking and eating and after that they were having a fun after some time the bride gets stolen okay after every uh, means drinking and eating and all so the bride has get stolen stolen by the whom she disappears and when the groom starts looking for her he is asking to pay a fee so when the groom is finding for his bride so the who has stolen uh, his bride so they are asking the money fee means fine okay that is money then there is usually it is his friends who steal the bride so who is stealing the bride here that is the friend of uh, groom okay then there are bride's friends they are steal the bride's shoes again the bride's friends so they are stealing the bride's shoes you know this is the part of indian wedding okay so you know the bride's uh, friends or maybe the sisters of a bride so they are stealing the shoes of a groom then the groom must pay money for a shoe too so he here in indian uh, culture also the groom has to pay money for his shoes to get back his shoes 
the same thing in Russian uh, wedding also. The guests enjoy watching these tussles and continue parting. So the guests uh, they were entertaining about entertaining by looking these things uh, with the games and with the plays with the fun and all. So they were also getting uh, entertaining and they were not get bored with this. And uh, tussles means fight. So it is a kind of fight, okay, among the bride's fam family and the groom's family. It is it's a part of the ceremony, okay. It's not uh, that serious thing, but in this lesson in this the proposal the fight is actually the real one okay so let's see here so what are the characters uh, are playing in this lesson actually it is in the form of play so and also also this lesson it is in the form of dialogue okay the dialogue and conversation so let's see the characters are here the characters are Stepan Stepanovich Chupukov, a landowner. I already have introduced about who is this. Okay, he is a landowner here. Natalia Stepanova. Natalia Stepanova. So she is a daughter of Chupukov. Okay, who, who is a landowner. So he is a daughter and 25 years old. So she is a 25 years old girl. Ivan Vasilovich Lumov. Okay, so he is a neighbor of Chubakov, a large and hearty but very suspicious land owner. Okay, here the, the last character is Ivan uh, Vasilovich uh, Lumov. Lumov, he is a neighbor of Chubakov who has a large and hearty but always he is a suspicious. Suspicious means he is always in a um, um, uh, what called suspicious, he is a doubting. Okay, he was in a doubt, he is in a confused manner. And a landowner. He is a he is also a landowner. A drawing room in Chubikov's house. Okay. Lumov enters wearing a dress jacket and white gloves. Chubikov rises to meet him. So how the play begin? Play begin with the Chubikov house. Okay. Chubikov's house, which is uh, sitting in a drawing room. Then Lumov enters. So there, the Chubikov he is sitting uh, in the drawing room. So Lumov has entered in his into his room. Wearing a dress, jacket and white gloves. So this Lumov has worn with a white jacket, dress white jacket and also gloves. You know, they are wearing the gloves in their hands. So he is also used the white gloves. Chubikov rises to meet him. Suddenly when the Chubikov has seen this Lumov, he was get risen and he was meeting to his uh, Lumov. Chubikov says, Chubikov, my dear fellow, whom do I see? Ivan Vasilovich, I am extremely glad, squeezes his hand. Now, this is a surprise, my darling. How are you? So, Chubikov, he is glad. He is glad means he is happy to meet uh, Ivan. Okay, because Ivan, without invited, he was appeared. He was came to the Chubikov house. So, he was happy. Chubikov is happy about he was came to his home. Okay, then he says, he just squeezes his hand and then uh, he was says, my darling, how are you? He just asked, so how is he? Lumov, thank you and how may you be getting on? So he says, thank you, sir, thank you. Then how may you be getting on means it's a how are you? So he is also saying that, how are you? Chubakov, he says, we just get along somehow, my angel, thanks to your prayers and so on. You know, when we are meeting to the people who are very praised and we are meeting to, uh, after so many long time, we are meeting them. So what we are, because of the God grace, we are also uh, good. Okay, so in that case, so Chubukov is also telling to the loom of that, yeah, we just along somehow my angel. So he says uh, to that, my dear. My angel means my dear, okay? Because he is happy to see the Ivan in his home. Thanks to your prayers. So he said that, you know, we are telling, just keep remember me in your prayers. So thanks for your prayers and so on. He is also uh, telling it here with the happily words. Sit down, please do. Now you know, you shouldn't forget all about your neighbors, my darling. My dear fellow, why are you so formal in your get up? Okay, so Chubakov is asking to Lumov, you know, you shouldn't forget the neighbors. So you have to visit it um, often. Okay, so why you are uh, in a formal dress? He is in a formal dress, I have told you. So he is in a, uh, uh, he was um, wearing a, a, uh, that is a jacket and also the gloves. Okay, usually this kind of uh, dress is wearing to visit any party or some of the occasion. But he was, uh, came to the neighbor. 
the Chibukov and uh, Lumov, they both were the neighbors. So Ivan, he was came to, that is Ivan means Lumov. Lumov was came to the Chibukov's house with the formal dress. So now Chibukov is asking to him, so why you are in this formal dress? Okay, then evening dress, gloves and so on. Can you be going anywhere? My treasure. My treasure means my dear. So why you are in this evening gown? So are you going somewhere else? So my dear. It means my treasure means it's a my dear. Lumov says no. I have come only to see you. Honored Stepan Stepanovich. Okay. So Lumov says no. Actually, I am not going anywhere. I came to you to meet you. That is honored. He was honoring to the Stepan Stepanovich. Okay. Chubaka says, then why are you evening dress, my precious? So he was surprised because this Chubaka, he don't know the intention. He was uh, actual intention of the uh, Lumov. Okay. So he says, uh, my precious means my dear. So, why you are in any evening dress? You are not going anywhere else. You are came to my home. Then why you are in this formal dress? He asked the question once again. As if you are paying a New Year's Eve, Eve, New Year's Eve visit. So, you are um, came with the dress like you are visiting for the New Year's Eve, New Year's celebration. Then Lumov says, well, you see, it's like this. Takes his arm. I have to, I have come to you. Okay. Yes, it's a kind of the occasion. It's kind of a eve to me. So that's why I came to you. So he says, Honored Stepan Stepanovich, to trouble you with the request. So I am just, he was honoring. He was uh, praising to the Stepan Stepanovich by saying these words. And then he say, it's my request. So he says, uh, not once or twice I have already had the privilege of applying to you for help and you have always so to speak. Means uh, uh, he says here not once or twice. So there are so many times he tried to say to the Chibukov but he was not said to the Chibukov about why he was came to his home. Okay. Then I must ask you a pardon. I am getting excited. I shall drink some water. Honor Stepan Stepanovich. He drinks. Okay. So he was in nervous. So here he says, pardon me. He says, excuse me. So because of his excitement, because of his nervous, because you know, he is in nervous. Let's see in the lesson that, let's see in the further lesson. So why he is in nervous? What is the intention? He came to the Chibuka house. Okay. So he says in that, um, in between. So he is getting nervous. So that's why he needs some water to drink. So then he asked the water, uh, he asked water, I am getting excited, I shall drink some water, Honor Stepano, Stepanovich, Stepan Stepanovich. So he says the request, uh, he says that uh, uh, because of the nervous, I need to drink some water. So he is asking, may I drink some water here? Chupikov, Asad, he is come to borrow money, shan't give him any. So now Asad means Chupikov is thinking in his mind, okay, that is he come, came to borrow some money? So then, shan't give him. So he shouldn't give him. He decided, he decided in his mind that I will not give, I shall not give any money to him. Allowed, what is it? My beauty. My beauty means my dear. Okay. Then outer side means uh, while uh, speaking he says, so then why? With the louder voice he says, then why is it? What it is? What is it? So why you came here? Lumov says, you see, Honor Stepanich, I beg pardon Stepan Honorich, I mean I am awfully excited, you know. He was in a dilemma, he is in confused, uh, confused state, he is in excited, he is in nervous, so he can't pronounce the proper uh, name of the Chibukov. Okay, so he, he says there yeah, without, uh, if he, uh, instead of saying Stepan Stepanovich, he says Stepanich. Then again he says Stepan Honorich. Okay, then again he says, excuse me, I mean, actually my mean is awfully excited. Actually I am so excited, I am so nervous. So I am just um, uh, misusing some of the words. Like he is pronouncing uh, mistakenly these words. As you will please notice, in short, you alone can help me. So you should have to notice what I am saying. It. So you are the only person that you can help me for this. Though I don't deserve it, of course, and I haven't any right to count on your assistance. Assistance means help, okay. So I'm not deserving for it, but actually I want your help, 
okay i want your help but that is your uh, that is i'm expecting the right from you chubukov oh don't go round and round it darling spit it out oh, wow well. okay so now he said don't um, don't tell like this like uh, don't confuse me so tell it in a directly why you are saying me indirectly round and round means indirectly so tell it directly spit it out means speak the truth speak the matter what it is speak that matter well lumos one minute this is very minute the fact is i have come to ask the hand of your daughter natalia stepanova in marriage so now he is saying is uh, his main intention okay so what he is came here what for what sake he came here that for a minute and then very minute and he says that uh, actually i came to ask your daughter's hand for a marriage that is natalia stepanova okay then say so what's the expression of this a uh, father that is chubukov chubukov joyfully he was happy my juv ivan vasilevich say it again i didn't hear it all so by by juv means expression it's a kind of expression like we will say no in our, some of the uh, some of the time like omg like oh my god okay so with the very surprised manner with a very joyful manner he says my juv okay ivan vasilevich say it again once again can you repeat it he didn't hear it because he was uh, he is also shocked he is surprised chipukov is also surprised by listen this lumov i have the honor to ask again once again he just telling that in the beginning i have honor to ask he is again he is just using then chipukov interrupting him my dear fellow i am so glad as so on yes indeed and all that sort of thing embraces and kisses lumov i have been hoping for it for a long time he was interrupted who chubukov was interrupted then uh, once again he was saying that i am i came here for this purpose then again he was interrupting here chubukov was interrupting and he says to lumov that my dear fellow my dear fellow then i am so glad so glad means he is so happy and then so on and he said so on so on then yes indeed all that sort of thing all the sort of thing means he was embraces embraces means it's a hugs and kisses okay so the chubuko he was because he is too happy he is also like this person chubuko the father of natalia he is also like this person and they know well he is also know well because they are the neighbor so when uh, when he was heard this uh, this kind of news uh, from this ivan so he is also happy and he was uh, in the joyful moment so he was hugging to the ivan that is lumov he was he was kissing to the um, uh, that is uh, chubuk uh, ivan that is lumov and then he was hugging to him because of the because of the happiness i have been hoping for it uh, for a long time and he is also expecting the same thing he is also hoping for that they should get married uh, okay so that is ivan and natalia it's been my continual desire shed such tear and i have always loved you my angel as if you were my own son okay so now he was praising to the he was happy and he was saying uh, some of the words when he was happy to about the daughter is get married to this person okay and then he says yes he is expecting the same thing so what he says and then he the desire was continuing since from so many years and then he says my angel so you are like my son so you are also my like you are also like my my own son my god give you both his help and his love and so on so much hope what i am behaving in this idiotic way for so then he says god he should give the hope and love and you are uh, his uh, uh, what says um, love and so on and so hope so he was wishing to the to this uh, couple actually not couple so he was happy and he is you know when the father is happy about the daughter's marriage and there is a proposal uh, came so then he says some of the words and at last he says so why i am behaving like a idiotic okay why i am behaving like a foolish i am off my balance with joy i am off means he was imbalances with the Uh, he was in balances himself okay he is not believing that so ivan has came to his home to for a marriage proposal okay then 
I will go and call Natasha and all that. Natasha means Natalia. Okay, don't get confused here. So Ivan Lumov is the same character. Chibuka Stepan Stepanovich is the same character. You can see it with the character's introduction. Okay. So Natalia means Natasha. Okay. So then uh, here Chubakov says, I will go and call to the Natasha to meet you. Then Lumov greatly moved. So he was very happy and excited. Then he was moved greatly inside to call Natasha. My, uh, then Honor Stepan Stepanovich, do you think I may count on her consent? So Lumov says with the greatly. Okay, so in your honor, that can I, uh, do you think that she is also accept, accept me? Okay, and then Chibako says, why? Of course, my darling, and as if she wa won't consent, she is in love. A god, a god, uh, uh, means, a god means a god. She is like a lovesick cat and so on. Shan't be long, exit. Okay, so while saying these words, he was, uh, uh, went inside that is he was exit to the to call to the Natasha and he says here that my darling of course she she is also accept you of course she is also love you okay so here he says that she is like a love sick cat and uh, and so on and uh, shan't be long so this is the thing he has said by the Chibukov. Lumo says it's cold I'm trembling all over so then Lumo says he was nervous he was too much excited Okay, now he feels, he feels like he was trembling, shaking because of the coldness, because of the uh, nervous. You know, when, the, when there is a nervous, when there is a fear, so there should be the shivering, okay, in our body. So, like, same thing, so he is also, who, that limov. Just as if I would got an examination before me. So, how he is like, so, like, before any kids are going to exam and any, uh, when before the examination, how they were fear. Okay, how they were nervous. So like that, so Lumov is also nervous. Okay, it seems like he is also in an examination. Okay. The great thing is I must have my mind made up. If I give up, if I give myself time to think, to hesitate, to talk a lot, to look for an ideal, for or for real love, then I will never get married. Okay. So now he is thinking himself. Okay, Lumov is thinking himself that about if he was given reasons. If he should not marry in this uh, to this girl, uh, he can't get uh, the person which he likes. Okay, so then he will get he will not get married to any other person. If he if he just looking for a beauty, then he will just looking for a, a talent or he just uh, make a choices. So then he was not get married. So now it is good to him that. Uh, he everything he is thinking himself okay to marry this girl that is Natalia okay but it's cold it's cold now he's very nervous okay uh, my mind I must have my mind made up means to be determined he was determined to get married to Natalia before because he should not wait for any other person particularly okay if he waiting for anyone else which he which he wanted uh, that desire then he could not get married so it is better to get married to uh, the girl called Natalia so that is Natalia Stepanova is an excellent housekeeper now he is thinking that she is an ex ex excellent housekeeper house Housekeeper means she is taking care of the house well, not bad looking and well educated. So she is also pretty good and she is also well educated. She is also um, a, uh, a good person. What more I do want? So what he wants more, more than this. But I am getting a noise in my ears from excitement. You know, when he, when we are in nervous, when we are uh, in fear, so we get some ears in our, uh, we get some sound or noise in our ears. So same thing in the matter of the Lumov, okay? Drinks and then he drinks some water. And it's impossible for me not to marry, okay? Then in the first place, I am already 35, a critical age, so to speak. Okay, if I should not get married to this girl, so then after that it is very critical. It is impossible to get married with someone else. Okay, so because of his age, now he is a 35 years of age. Okay, that is the critical age. After that he couldn't marry. Okay, then 
then in the second place so then he give a second reason here i ought to lead a quiet and regular life okay because i have to lead i have i ought to means it's a very important lead, lead a regular life and it is very peaceful life i suffer from palpitation because he was suffering from palpitation palpitation means repeat heartbeat okay that is called palpitation i am excitable and always getting awfully upset and sometimes he get upset too so because of these reasons and at this very moment my limbs are trembling like my lips are trembling and there was a twitch in my right eyebrow trembling means shaking now at this moment so he was shaking and his eyes it is like twitch which means it's like something like uh, action in his eye okay in his eyebrow but the very worst of all is the way i sleep so more than this he gives some another reason that is when he was sleep when he was sleeping i no sooner get into bed and begin to go off when suddenly something in my left side gives a pull okay so when he was getting sleep at night so he was felt like uh, he was something is getting off something is pulling him okay that is the uh, in his shoulder suddenly something in my left side gives a pull so the left part of his body so something it is pulling him okay then and i can feel it in my shoulder and head so again he was having some problem in his um, in his mind okay then suddenly he was something uh, a problem in his shoulder and then the neck and then the head i jump up like a lunatic so when he was suffering with this problem so he jumped up like a lunatic like a mad he, he is getting like a mad walk about a bit and lie down again but as soon as i begin to get off to sleep there is another pull so when he was um, suffering like this so suddenly he was getting from his bed and then he just uh, take some walk and then he was relaxed and then again he was trying for sleep then again the same thing it is repeating okay like uh, but as soon as i begin to get off to sleep there is another pull so there is something it is pulling in his body okay and this is may happen 20 times for a whole night it was repeating for 20 times several times it is repeating for him okay natalia stepanova comes in so when he was thinking about his uh, intention that is his determination to get married to this natalia and uh, he is suffering some of the problems okay then uh, the, uh, his best age to get married otherwise after that he couldn't marry after 35 years of age then why he should get married to this natalia he made up his mind okay he has determined his mind to get married to this girl okay and lead a uh, simple life and regular life okay so because he feels that if he get married so something it should come to the normal one the life is come to the normal okay so this is about the reasons he was thinking in uh, himself that before uh, natalia was come and then suddenly the natalia was uh, arrived comes in okay then tre uh, natalia well there is it's you papa said go there is a merchant come for his goods how do you do iva ivan vesilovich so when uh, natalia comes in she enters so natalia says to the um, ivan vesilovich that is lumov then there is you it's you papa said there is some merchant so papa means chubukov has said the father has said to natalia some merchant has came for purchase of the goods okay purchase uh, merchants means trader how do you how do you do ivan vesilovich means how are you he asked she asked limo how do you do honor natalia stepanova so again he replies yes uh, how do you do how are you then uh, he just say honor natalia stepanova then natalia you must excuse my apron and negligee where we are shelling peas for drying why haven't you been here for a, such a long time sit down they sit they seat themselves won't you have some lunch so then when natalia so when they were um, asking each other their uh, um, they were uh, how they are so then he she says 
so excuse me for her dress apron means the dress which she was old okay and neglish neglish means negligence you should have to neglect my dress she is in not in a formal dress she is also in a uh, like casual dress which uh, she wears and do the houseworks okay and then we are shelling shelling means extracting peas peas means it's a kind of a vegetable they were extracting it okay so she is extracting in the kitchen she is has some work and for drying why haven't you been for such a long time why you have not visited after a long time you have been arrived here then she says sit down then both of them sit down would you have some lunch so why you will not have some lunch so she is offering lunch for him okay so today's class i am just to stop here so it is a lengthy um, play okay lengthy lesson so we will continue in the several classes okay let's see uh, all of you just um, go through with this lesson once again okay then the russian marriage and here there is an activity for you that is the uh, activity like uh, customized similar to the indian ones and also custom different from the indian ones like wedding there is a difference between uh, russian uh, wedding and also indian wedding so you have to uh, write those rituals which is because i have explained you how the russian weddings are okay you know the how the indian weddings are so you write all the important points which is belong to the uh, the rituals of the russian wedding and the rituals of the indian wedding so you should have to differentiate and compare compare here okay so you should have to compare the comparison there here so this is about so here i will going to stop the today's class so i will continue in the next class till then all of you stay at home keep learning thank you